uh, rather as a 1-0 win uh, and getting the winner as well of, of all weeks to get that it must be really pleasing to have done that today yeah, I think it was something that the club needed. You know, um, it, it was a big game for us. There was a little bit of unrest. You know, it's, it's been a big week in terms of, of changeovers at the club and everything. So, you know, I, I think it was important that we went out there today and, and, and you know probably got a result more than the performance. And you know, that's what we provided in the end. Yeah, in terms of the form of recent weeks, obviously we know how that's been and we know our place in the league table. Just how important was it, especially against opposition who've also been struggling this season to have got those three points. Yeah, yeah, like you say there, every every circumstance leading into that game meant that we had to win it. Um, you know, absolute position, our position. You know, it was, it was pretty much a six pointer. You know, so we we've gone out there, we've rolled our sleeves up, we worked hard for each other, and you know, fortunately we got the result there that I felt that we deserved. To be honest, I think you know, first half we started quite lively. You know, and uh, you know we, we probably ran out of steam a little bit towards the end of the half, and in the second half I thought we were on the front foot, and you know we really deserved to win. Yeah, not a bad substitution, was it? Bringing yourself on and uh, not a bad finish either. <laughs> Talk us through it. No, I was buzzing to be honest. You, you know, after it, it meant so much to me scoring a goal. You know, it's been a frustrating season for me as an individual, if I'm honest. Um, you know, it's not really got going for me. You know, for one reason or another, and you know, to go out there and, and to score a goal. You know, it, it meant loads to me to be honest. And you know, I know a lot of the time the lads will say, oh, it's the result is this, it's that." But on a personal level, it, it felt really good to, to get the winner. To be to be really honest, and it you know it. It was a nice moment and what's been a difficult season for me so far. Yeah, you could always tell that in the celebrations for yourself afterwards as well. No, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm probably an emotional person to an extent. You know, I don't really show it too often, but things you know do affect you. If you're not on the team, you know, it does hurt. Anyone who sat here and said it doesn't see that you know on the brink of retirement or the, the line to you, so it, it does hurt that you're not playing and you know to go out there and to to go and get a goal to. You know, it's not even just to show that you should be playing or anything. You know, because you know, my career speaks for itself in terms of how many goals I do score. But I feel like I offer the team something, something you know that that is needed at times. And you know, if I'm honest, I felt like I have been underused a little bit, and it was you know it was special for me to go out there and get that goal. In terms of the event of um, of this week, obviously Brian Hughes has, has departed the club. Um, when did you uh, find out that uh, that he had left? To be honest, we only found out about half an hour before the statement was released. You know, it was I was only up because the baby was being a little bit of a pain that night. So, um, you know, it was it was quite late on, and I think it was Wednesday evening, was it? Yeah. So it was quite late on on Wednesday evening that we heard, and you know, it, it wasn't. It's never nice to see someone lose the job. You know, Brian Hughes was a was a great fella. You know, he, whatever anyone says about his management or or whatever, you know, we can nitpick the the life out of everything. But as I've said a couple of times, you know, he was a, he was a nice person and he, you know, he treats everyone with the same level of respect, whether he thought you were the best player, the worst player or in between. You know, he, he'd make you feel the same way and he'd always interact with you, ask how your family were, he'd always look out for you. And, you know, I know that we're in a results-based industry and results speak for themselves, but it's those little human touches that, that do make a difference to people's lives. And, you know, and for that, you know, regardless of whether I think he should have played me more, he shouldn't have played me more or whatever, you know, I could never knock him for how he treated me as a person and it's not nice to see someone lose the job. Yeah, when events like this do happen, does it bring a squad perhaps a bit closer together when, when that uh, that does happen? Because often you do see results begin to pick up as well and perhaps uh, mood begins to pick up as well. Uh, to be honest, I think you know, it's been a difficult start to the season all around. I think you know, we've had quite a few changes, we've had a few different formations, we've had new lads come in and you know a little bit of experimentation. but. To me, that one of the big stents of this football club is, is the core and the you know and the, the mentality of the lads. You know, there's been times over the previous two seasons where the football hasn't necessarily been pretty, but we've all stuck together and we've all fought for that victory. You know, whether we're on the 18 yard box or the 18 yard box, we're all a collective. And you know, I, I think to say that the events like this do galvanise, I think it does bring you know people together and it does pull the ranks in a little bit, but. I don't think it's purely just a, a knee-jerk reaction to the manager getting sacked. I think it's testament to the to the character and the spirit of the lads that you know that, that we will pull together. And you know, again, it, it probably wasn't stellar up there today, but it's it's a result, and it's it's again I, I go back to the character of the lads in the group, and you know, people like Sean Pearson, Cara, Geno, myself, Bobby, you know, people with with good personalities and you know, good intentions and so on. And, and that's not just to say that we're the only ones. It's you know, it is a collective through the whole squad. But I just feel like that's a big stent of ours and you know it's something that did come to the fore today. Obviously under Brian Flynn at the moment, interim charge, he'll still be there in that charge on uh, on Tuesday night against Solihull Moors. And in terms of the objective of this season, we know that Solihull and what theirs is as well, it's still a big game. 
It's a massive game, yeah. You know, sorry, all I haven't seen how they went today, but the, you know, their start of the season's been a little bit of a mixed bag as well, and you know, they'll be they'll be after points because they want to start chasing, you know, the leading pack at the moment. And you know, as I always say, the, the objective of this club, regardless if you're you're nineteen, twentieth, eighteenth, whatever, we want to be fighting for promotion. You know, we've had a bad start of the season, we've had a difficult start, but. Football moves quickly, and you know we need to go on a little run now and, and start piecing results together. The same as Solly, also, it'll, you know it'll be a you know a fiercely contested game and something that both teams will be after the three points in. Finally, do you still feel that there is time this season to get ourselves back into whether it's that top seven or or that top three or or even right to the top of this division? I think it's difficult. Don't get me wrong; it's difficult no matter where you where you're positioned at this stage of the season. You know, previously we've had a lot of points on the board at this stage, and we've been right in the mix. And you know, ultimately we fell short. I think you know this year we've got a different challenge on. Uh, but to me, it, it's a, it is an old cliche, but you take one game at a time, and you've got to you've got to get your points on the board. And certainly at home, you need to maximise your results. And unfortunately, that's probably what we failed to to do so far this season. But Today, you know, we've got a nice win on the ball. We go to Solio now. It'll be a different test, big physical side with good quality. You know, it'll be a good battle. And one thing that, that I'll never question of this group of lads is that we'll be up for the battle. And you know, we'll go toe to toe with them, and we will we'll want to fight it, and we'll want to make sure that we get those board, uh, points on the ball because, as you say, there the objective of this club is to be out of this league, and whether it's you know the easy way, the hard way, whatever way, you've got to find a way to make that happen. And, coming to places like Solio in the position that we are, we need to get points on the board, and, and that's what we'll be searching for. Actually, cheers, Paul. No,